at the end of the day, we think that if these bills are passed and signed into law, they will tear New Mexico families apart and they will harm individuals in every one of our communities. And good evening, New Mexico. Tonight, calls to cancel our upcoming special session on public safety, and they're coming from advocates within our mental health community. So the governor is focusing the session on competency, specifically defendants who are not mentally capable to stand trial. But some lawmakers worry this is too much to tackle during a special session, and apparently they are not alone. Cassie Foote has been looking into these latest concerns for us. So Cassie, a coalition of advocacy groups and mental health providers sent a letter to the governor basically begging her to scrap her special session plans and work with them. That's right. I spoke with the executive director of Equality New Mexico who helped write the letter. He says public safety absolutely needs to be addressed, but the proposed competency legislation would have a detrimental impact on New Mexicans. The solutions are too complex for the short session, and our state doesn't even have the systems in place for some of the proposed solutions. Lawmakers will head back to the roundhouse next week to complete a job Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham says wasn't finished in January. I'm a bit frustrated and it won't surprise anyone watching to know that the legislators know and I think they're frustrated. 30 days is tough. The upcoming special session is all about public safety. But advocacy groups and mental health providers say at least one of the proposed solutions will do more harm than good. This special session is not the right venue for these incredibly complicated policies. Marshall Martinez is the executive director of Equality New Mexico. They, along with the ACLU of New Mexico, Bold Futures, and the New Mexico Coalition to End Homelessness, sent this letter to the governor Tuesday, urging her to call the session off, writing, real solutions deserve more time than we have, and a more robust dialogue and partnership with community organizations like ours. We were really hoping that there would be a convening of all of these groups to say, what's happening out there? What works? What doesn't work? These are some ideas we have. Will it work on the ground? And we've been completely left out of this process. The coalition's top concerns include the proposed bill related to competency. It would allow a judge to mandate someone go to treatment if they're determined incompetent to stand trial. The criminal competency proposal is about getting them good enough to stand trial and then putting them in jail. The jail cannot continue to be the biggest behavioral health care provider in the state of New Mexico. Another relates to involuntary commitment, broadening the definition of danger to self and danger to others. Folks could report someone that they have a relationship with and a judge could then force that person to an in-treatment facility for mental health care, including addiction treatment. And I mean, the first question is, what facility? We don't have them now. And lastly, the median pedestrian safety bill, which some have called a panhandling ban. It would make it illegal to loiter on certain medians. This is about criminalizing people who are homeless for standing near a street. The coalition hopes the governor will take a pause and work with them on proposed solutions. Our intention was to say, don't have a special session. Don't rush to fix the problems with bad solutions. Don't do, us, do it without us. A spokesperson for the governor says she appreciates the input, but calling off the special session and doing nothing is not an option. They add the bills proposed will provide accountability and treatment for those who have become entangled in the criminal justice system because of underlying mental health challenges. Tessa Trevor. And the governor already took another competency right. proposal off the table because of the complexity there. So we'll see what happens next week.